Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is in my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Duck Sizer tool. All right, so let's get into it. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is, uh, for example, in the previous video, we already sized, the, we already know the CFM. So what you see on the screen is we have the men's restroom, we have the women's restroom, and we have an individual restroom. And we calculated the CFM, exhaust CFM required at each space. So what are you going to do now with that CFM, with that airflow, right? So for that airflow, what you need to do is to provide duct work. So the duct work, you can, use, you can use duct work, you can size duct work either by option one, you have your duct calculator or duculator, or you can use the design duct sizer tool, which is available and it's free online, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Again, remember, you have the CFM, you need ducts, right? Duct sizing duct work, okay. So the tool is uh, duct sizer, uh, that's the duct sizer tool. So since this software is free, let's go directly to Google, right? Okay, let's go to Google. And then in Google, what we're gonna have is the following. Okay, so in Google, what do we have? Let's go check in here. Okay, so this duct sizer tool, if you click on duct sizer tool directly in Google, you're going to find a lot of options. See, online duculator, uh, rectangular duct sizing, free HVAC sizing. Check it out. It's very interesting, okay? But the one that I use a lot actually is this from Daikin Applied, okay? Design software tools, okay? So let's click on it and I'm going to link, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Okay, so let's go to the design software tools. And it's always, whenever they say free, it's always good and welcome all the time, right? Okay, so this is so this is the software and a little bit of a story about this. So the, this tool, this duck sizer has been developed by, by McQuay. So, but, but Daikin acquired McQuay in 2006. So that's why it's under the Daikin website and available for free download. Okay, so what do we have in here? Daikin design software tools. We have Daikin selection tools, DST. Okay, you can check it out. And then you have energy modeling. Interesting. Okay, okay, chiller payback calculator. Uh, mainly McQuay actually does chillers and ACs. Okay, so chiller payback calculator. That's interesting. Okay, now you have this other option one, two, three, four, five. So you have for water source heat pumps. You have HVAC sound levels, you have air handling units, size calculate and calculate pipes, pipe sizer, and then you have the duct sizer. So the one that I use a lot is the duct sizer, okay? So you click on the duct sizer and it will automatically will download a wind zip, a self extractor, okay? Extractor. So click on it. And as you can see, it's downloaded already. It's downloading a duct sizer zip file. So you click on it, okay? And so where is it downloaded? Uh, let's check. Okay, there we go. It's downloaded here. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna click and it says, do you want to open this file? It's an unknown publisher. So usually this is interesting because be careful on this. Sometimes your computer is going to stop the process because since it's in the, in in the internet, from the internet, um, Sometimes uh, they don't allow it, you know, in your computer because of viruses, depending on your protection and security, right? Okay, so in here, what we're gonna do is open, but be careful, always, sometimes it will not allow you, but you just to have to hit yes or yes, or if you don't mind about the viruses. In this case, I wouldn't say it has viruses because Daikin is well known. And if you are at work, you will need administrative permissions. Right. So since I have my own laptop in here, I'm working usually anytime I could download any software, but be careful about the viruses. This doesn't have any viruses, I believe. I'm not sure. Okay. So open. So whenever you go open, so you have this duck sizer that exe. Okay. All right. So now we're going to click on it. Let's click. And what does it say? It says in here, it gives you this pop-up window. It says WinZip self extractor duck sizer that exe. All right. So you so unzip to folder. Where do you want to save this? Because it's going to download files, executable files. So we're going to put in here browse. 
okay um something that i could some place i could remember very easily is downloads very easily okay so it's gonna download my files right there okay there we go okay i think it's downloaded right um now what we're gonna do is just gonna check in under downloads we're gonna go here to downloads and then in here it's not downloaded actually that's interesting uh let me double check on this very quickly yeah it's not downloaded in here okay so let's go back again just that to double check again um let me see we'll go here okay let's um let what is it downloads uh it's okay okay so you know what why don't we do it again okay unzip we go open okay unpublished okay open exe and then i have this this and then it says unzip okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna browse and then put it under uh let's say downloads downloads and okay and then oh i didn't hit unzip maybe that's why okay unzip there we go see sometimes we make those mistakes and we forget about the <laughs> more relevant um uh, aspects of, of this okay so in here we have four files and zip successfully okay we're gonna hit okay and then click okay all right so now we're gonna go here to the downloads okay what is it downloads there we go see in downloads you automatically have this dark size that that exe right so i would suggest you just um you can put in here a folder right you can put it wherever under your documents and your any folder just to save it we can put that size that size and then you put this all of these three files under that folder so that way it's all organized right okay since we have already these files so now what you're gonna have to do is this executable file so what happens is this software is already already um this software is already a program it is a program written in visual visual basic okay so let's click in here and then you're gonna you're gonna have the dark size available already okay so where is it you might be wondering it's right here okay i'm gonna close it again i'm gonna just double click again here okay it's opening right here see Design tools, dark size version numbers. Okay, so if you wanna see in here about, you're gonna have to see design tools, dark size version 6.4, copyrighted in 2001-2003 by, by Macway International. Okay, so a program written in Visual Basic, and this is actually a very useful tool. Okay, already. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna keep this open, and I'm just gonna show you a very quick example how this works. Uh, because we're going to be using this a lot, or you can always use your uh, duck sizer calculator. Okay, I mean your uh, yeah duckulator. All right. So in here, what do we have? Okay. For example, you have in here uh, from my previous video for these for for this toilet. For imagine that you need 60 c no 70 cfm depending on the code. Okay, you need 70 cfm in here. How? What is your duck size? Okay. What is it? Okay, you need 70 CFM, say that you need to connect it here with this, that depends on the designer, or depends if you have a roof, this could be all connected and go to the roof and put an exhaust fan, or you can put, you don't have a roof, it's like, um, I mean, you have a roof, but this is a, a, a big building and you, you, want, you want to exhaust everything to the side wall, but then you put an inline fan inline fan and you you need duct work okay we can be doing that later in another video but overall if you need to extract from this 70 cfm what you're going to put in here is the following so you have in here this is a quick tutorial put in here flow rate 70 cfm okay and then you're going to put a friction rate of 0 0.08 there we go right that's all you need you need the cfm and the friction rate that's all you need At, in some cases you're going to need the velocity so you can either size this by friction rate head loss or you can size it by velocity velocity fpm so usually that happens when you have for example a doa system oh my gosh so this is going to be for example 8000 cfm a big unit in the rooftop right so if you have 8000 cfm instead of doing friction we're going to be sizing the ducts based on fpm 
in velocity because those are going to be say medium pressure ducts okay so in medium pressure ducts we're going to have 2000 fpm and then you can size your ducts based on that but now uh maybe another video we're going to be talking about low pressure ducts and medium pressure okay so if it's low pressure let's go here and say my 70 cfm that i wanted and again you can do in here clear units and again we can do 70 cfm uh, friction 0 0.08 70 cfm and then that's all you need and you need to put your duct size what's going to be your input usually my input is the height why because that's the determining factor of uh, I usually put a height, say I start with 10 of height because usually the architect doesn't want to give us so much space on the ceiling plenum. So you can put either eight, the minimum is going to be six, right? But since this is a very small CFM, we can put six. The height will be six, uh, six, let's put six. Okay, there we go. So it says my duct size is going to be six by four. But now you can put maybe a six by six. Anything above is good, right? Okay, so the minimum is going to be six by four. Or remember, it could be six by four or it could be four by six. Yeah, the, you, you can always decide which one is which. But usually we can put in here six. For this case, I would put a six, six by six. Six by four works, but six by six, I would be more comfortable. Okay. All right, so we're going to do this again, clear units. There we go. Again, so again, we're going to put 70 CFM. You're going to have the friction rate, but however, sometimes they want to put it like 0.1, right? But for 0.1, what are we going to have? Again, we're trying to do six, six by four, the same. However, let's talk about 1000 CFM. If it's 1000 CFM, look at this, six by 31. That's crazy. You cannot have a duct like six and 31 CFM because there's an aspect ratio, aspect ratio of four, which means 31 divided by six should be less than four. We're going to talk about aspect ratio later, but in this case, I need to increase my height. Let's do the height 12. Oh, now it's looking better, 12 by 13. So I would make this duct 12 by 14 try to make even numbers okay and then say that oh my god we don't have space in here we have a lot of crossovers with sanitary piping we don't have any more room to put to give you we can only give you this much okay you're gonna have to flatten your duct instead of 12 we're gonna put a 10 see okay since you are flattening your duct your height 10 you're gonna have a width of 16 see it this increases and say, oh no, this is the worst part. We cannot make it. I'm sorry. We can, we, we just can make it eight. Okay. We're going to try to make it eight. Okay. So your duct is going to have to be eight by 22. And remember what I was mentioning. When I was, what I, what I was mentioning is, is, is about the aspect ratio. You cannot make your duct so flat. Because what is, this is eight by 22. Let's say what is 22 divided by 8. Aspect ratio is 2.75. It's still good, right? It's still good. And then worst case scenario, okay, this doesn't happen, but I'm just being a little bit, uh, a little bit curious. So they said, oh, my duck size can be only 6 feet. This is a very difficult circumstance. 6 by 31. This is very, this is not good. But look at this. What is my aspect ratio? Aspect ratio is one side divided by one side, okay? The larger side divided by the smaller side in a rectangular duct. Okay, so this will be 31 divided by six. 31 divided by six is gonna be 5.16. Aspect ratio went down, com went up completely. This is not good. Okay, so you can say to the architect or to the homeowner, we cannot, unfortunately, we cannot do this. We need to try to go for another alternative. So technically, I would have to make it 8 by 22. Okay, so again, we're going to make aspect ratio 22 divided by 8. Oh, 2.75. Okay, it's more manageable. It is whatever. However, one last thing. If you want to be conservative, because sometimes it's better to be conservative. You want to have bigger ducts instead of a smaller duct, it's always good to be taking into account the worst case scenario. For exhaust, 
low pressure ducts, I usually use 0.08 friction rate. So as you can see, in here it gives you a bigger duct. It tells you if you are doing, for 1000 CFM, you need 8 by 24. So you are being conservative in this case. So it's better to be conservative than not conservative. Because if you have smaller ducts, you're going to create noise issues. But that depends on the space too. In the bathroom, you don't mind the noise, right? So, so But if it's an office, a conference room, or even if it's a school, right? Educational, you need to be very quiet so in those cases you need to be conservative and you need to put internal duct lining and everything okay so as you can see 0 0.8 conservative and 0 0.1 less conservative right see that's how this duct calculator helps you out a lot duct sizer okay and now also you can see in here the velocity pressure see the velocity is in here it gives you the head loss the velocity those are very important all right lastly this is very lastly let's go back to our example clear clear the units you hit in here clear units and then oh also for my subscribers that are in other in another country like in india and like dubai nigeria africa australia so they use metric system so you can usually you can change this either metric or us units so if you change to metric, you have liters per second, you have head loss pascals divided by meter, and then millimeters by millimeter right here. All right? Okay. So let's go back again to the metric, to the US. Okay, let's go back to our example, 70, and then 0 0.08. And then you have the duct size. The duct size, I was saying 6. So this duct size in here would be 6 by 4 or 6 by 6. All right. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. And in, in, in my other videos, what we're going to be doing since since every leave any comments, any questions, because now I'm very much interested in making a video about making duck, uh, the duck work right here for this uh, restroom. And also in other videos, we're going to be explaining what is medium pressure, what is low pressure. So that way, you know when to size it based on friction and when to size it based on velocity. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you for watching my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.